All right, we got some detail work to do here in a minute, but first we got to block in the rest of this sani clause, and once we get him blocked in, we will do the detail work, and we are getting very close to doing that. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over here above the head, and I'm going to go over the top like that. I'm coming over the top, and then I'm going to come down over the right side, and then I'm going to curve it out just like that at the bottom, like a little slippery slide. I'll even draw that a little darker now because I know right where I want it. So I'll have to guess. But I would suggest you keep yours fairly light till you know it's about like that. Notice there's space between his hat and that line. This will be a very easy hat to draw. Okay, so then we're going to come up, follow this side of the head. We got that angle on this side. We're going to put the same angle on this side. We're going to work it towards the middle, but we're going to stop right there because I don't want it connected to the top of the hat if it's folded over the side. And then all we got to do is come from this little tag in down here and bring it up. And bring it back to the hat. And look at that. We got a hat drawn. All except for the round ball, which goes on the end. Put your little round ball on the end, and now we don't really have to do anything more on that hat. That's the good news. Now we're going to put his arm on him. I'm going to come out just a little ways, right up here, kind of where the beard touches the side, a little below the ear. I'm going to bring an arm coming up here and then curving up here like this. And I'm going to curve that that way. Okay, a little short arm. Don't want to make it too long. His elbow is clear down here. This is the forearm. This is the upper arm going to the shoulder. It's kind of hid behind the beard. I'm going to put a parallel line right there because it's like that little fringe. And then we're going to just make this easy. We're going to put a little mitten on there so it's an upside down U. And then another U shape. It just goes at a different angle. So he's waving. He's a friendly Santa. While you're getting caught up, I'm going to just darken some of these lines that I know I'm not going to change. And I did wait till towards the end to do that. Okay, the other arm. Does anybody need more time on this arm? Raise your hand if you need more time because I'm going to the other arm otherwise. All right, see no hands. Okay, come out from the basically the same place up here. Come out a little ways from the body. Put that little fringe on this one. And then this one will be a right side up you. And another one right next to it. And a little bit smaller because it's kind of down and back. Okay. So this actually, you could say it's a backwards J or just a U shape. Forward J. Okay, this would be right. This would be backwards. This would be frontwards. Just the letter J. Now we're going to get to the fun part. We're going to do the face, which is going to be not hard, but harder than what we've been doing. So the bottom of our circle here, right here, we are going to make that go away by erasing it. And if 
you drew it light, it's not a problem now. If you drew it dark, it's a problem. Okay, about right in the middle of where that circle used to be, we're going to put a little round nose right in the middle here. Okay, and remember our circle used to be right here, so about halfway between here and here, put a little round nose. Now off the center of the side of the nose, we're going to put that S shape. Okay, going both ways. Make sure it's big enough that it doesn't look like a tiny mustache. Bring it back to the middle. And just like that, we have his mustache drawn. Make sure you don't draw it too tiny. If you're going to draw it and you're not, and you're worried about being too big or too small, I'd rather you be just a little too big. All right, we are going to change the texture of the beard going around, so I'm just lightening up a little bit with my eraser. I can still kind of see it, but I've lightened it way up. I just need it as a guideline. I don't want to see it really clear. So now pay attention, come along. We're going to zigzag around it, but as I start to come down towards the bottom here, of course I angled this way, and when I come out here, this way and finish it out. Okay, so they need to both angle down going this direction. Right here, I'm going to put a little curved line, and then I'll put a little parallel line underneath it. That's his bottom lip, like he's saying ho, ho, ho kind of thing, just like that. We're almost done with him. We're getting really close. Does anybody need more time to get caught up before I move on? Because I know I'm moving right along trying to get this guy finished. Okay, so right here, above the mustache and to the left of the nose, I'm going to put a curved line right here. I'm going to put a big curved line right here. Right now, he looks like he's got his eyes closed. Okay, which would be fine. I mean, if we wanted him to have, like, his eyes are closed, that, that would work. But we are going to put an upside down U, a fairly big one, above it, above that one. He's actually got his eyes very open. And put a big circle inside of it. Big old shine. And we'll color in that circle black. Now he needs some big old thick eyebrows. A couple of rectangles. 
big thick ones. So now let's do a little bit of reviewing. If you are going to color these guys, which you are here in just a second, what color will the hat be up here? Okay. What color does this stay? Unless you want to shade it a little bit and you do use a little bit of light blue. What about this part and this part? Kind of a tan or maybe a, a peach color. Oh, we forgot. We got to put the rest of his beard on there. Come from right in front of the ear and just go like that and bring it down to the mustache. Just like that. And that finishes it off so you know where to stop coloring the skin. Does that make sense? Otherwise, you'd be going, oh, it's going to go right into the beard. All right, colors is glove. You can make it red. Yep, you'd be all right. You could even you could even make it you could even make it green. All right, suit. Suit's red. Belt. Buckle. Thank you. Pants. Yellow pants. What color is the pant? What color is the pant? Red. All right, his shoes. Black shoes. Candy cane. Red, white, red, white, red, white. All right, so I'm going to turn the light on. I'm going to give you guys to color. If you finish coloring, practice drawing a couple more.